When we think about certain breeds, we think about the possibility of ear cropping and tail docking. It can be for show purposes and breed standard, working reasons, or a completely different reason altogether. It can really vary from breed to breed, but today we'll be taking a look at why Ridgebacks are or aren't cropped and docked. Welcome back to the Fenrir Ridgeback Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Ridgebacks, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Ridgebacks. So if you're a lifelong Ridgeback lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Ridgeback, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Ridgeback video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at why the Ridgeback is docked and cropped. But before we can understand why a breed might be cropped and docked, we need to understand what those two terms mean. Cropping is an elective procedure done to the ears of most commonly a dog. It involves surgically removing a portion of the dog's ear that makes it floppy and then bracing the ear to train the portion that's left to remain upright. It's generally performed on puppies between 6 to 12 weeks of age and under anaesthesia. Docking is the removal of part of a dog's tail. It's generally done with surgical scissors on very young puppies while the tail is still soft as the bones have not finished hardening and fusing yet. It's generally done without anaesthesia because it's believed that very young puppies puppies aren't alert enough to remember the pain. There is some debate between vets, dog owners and kennel clubs as to whether the procedures are actually necessary. Tail docking is even banned in some parts of the world. Unnecessary docking may cause nerve tumours on a dog's tail and cropping also has its downsides. There's always a risk of something going wrong when surgery is performed. However, some believe that there are benefits to both cropping and docking a dog's ears and tail. In a working or hunting dog, cropping and docking may help prevent injury to the body parts or keep them from getting snagged. Though most people use the procedures for cosmetic reasons such as breed standard, there will be times when a medical reason arises and cropping or docking is necessary instead of elective. So this raises the question, why are Ridgebacks cropped and docked? The Ridgeback has naturally dropped ears. They sit high and close to the head and should be medium in size and triangle shaped. This breed was originally used for hunting large game and the relatively small ears that are held close to the head prevent them from getting snagged. And as far as the breed standard goes, there isn't anything against erect or cropped ears. Though some people do choose to tape or brace back their Ridgeback's ears, Ridgebacks are susceptible to viral and bacterial infections, which increased airflow may help to prevent in the ears. Even though this mighty breed has historically been used for hunting, it's never been a tradition to crop the ears, and taping isn't all that common either. Their natural ears are normally kept, which goes the same for some of their cousins of different ear types, such as the Thai Ridgeback with erect ears. The Ridgeback should have a strong tail that curves upward at the end but is never curved or gay. It's tapered towards the end and tends to be held low and close to the body unless they're moving. Then it's held upward and used for balance. There is no mark against this breed for having a dock tail but it isn't traditional to the breed. Once again despite the fact that it was a dog traditionally used to hunt large game. The fact that this breed's ears and tail tend to be left intact may be due to the fact that over the years it's become a companion breed more than a working one. They're known for their protective nature when it comes to their family family and also their loyalty. As they aren't working in the field at all, there is almost no reason to crop their ears or dock their tails, save for perhaps medical or cosmetic reasons. Though in many places cropping and docking are being outlawed unless they're due to a medical reason or it can be proved that the dog is going to be used for heavy duty working. To sum things up, the Ridgeback isn't normally a breed that has its ears cropped or its tail docked. It may seem a bit silly but sometimes tradition plays a larger factor in cropping and docking than anything else and it's just not traditional to this breed. So cropping and docking both would be reserved for medical cases when it comes to this canine. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Ridgeback videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Ridgeback Show.